We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, scripture readings, and special seasonal prayers. For your free copy, order online at heartofthenation.org or call us toll-free at 1-855-855-MASS or write to Heart of the Nation, Post Office Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, 53214. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. The Heart of the Nation Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please consider an offering today to support the Mass on TV and online. Thank you and may God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, yeah. amen. Dear brothers and sisters, since the beginning of Lent until now, we have prepared our hearts by penance and charitable work. Today we gather together to herald the whole church, the beginning of the celebration of our Lord's Paschal mystery, that is to say, of his passion and resurrection. For it was to accomplish this mystery that he entered his own city of Jerusalem, Therefore, with all faith and devotion, let us commemorate the Lord's entry into the city for our salvation, following in his footsteps, so that being made by his grace partakers of the cross, we may have a share also in the resurrection and in his life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, sanctify these branches, with your blessing, that we who follow Christ the King in exaltation may reach the eternal Jerusalem through him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. When the great crowd that had come to the feast heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem, they took palm branches and went out to meet him and cried out, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Jesus found an ass and sat upon it, as it is written, Fear no more, O daughter Zion. See, your king comes seated upon an ass colt. His disciples did not understand this at first, but when Jesus had been glorified, they remembered that these things were written about him and that they had done this for him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let us go forth together to, in God's glory. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who, as an example of humility for the human race to follow, caused our Savior to take flesh and submit to the cross, graciously grant that we may heed his lesson of patient suffering and so merit a share in his resurrection. 
who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me, my cheeks to those who plucked my beard, my face I did not shield from buffets and spitting. The Lord God is my help. Therefore, I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Christ Jesus, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God something to be grasped. Rather, he emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, coming in human likeness, and found human in appearance. 
he humbled himself, becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Because of this, God greatly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bend of those in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Passion of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Mark. Glory Glory to you, O Lord. As soon as morning came, the chief priests with the elders and the scribes, that is the whole Sanhedrin, held a council. They bound Jesus, led him away, and handed him over to Pilate. Pilate questioned him, Are you the king of the Jews? He said to him in reply, You say so. The chief priest accused him of many things. Again, Pilate questioned him. Have you no answer? See how many things they accuse you of. Jesus gave him no further answer so that Pilate was amazed. Now, on the occasion of the feast, he used to release to them one prisoner whom they requested. A man called Barabbas was then in prison, along with the rebels who had committed murder in a rebellion. The crowd came forward and began to ask him, to do for them as he was accustomed. Pilate answered, Do you want me to release to you the king of the Jews? For he knew that it was out of envy that the chief priests had handed him over. But the chief priests stirred up the crowd to have him release Barabbas for them instead. Pilate again said to them in reply, Then what do you want me to do with the man you call the king of the Jews? They they shouted out, crucify him. Pilate said to them, why? What evil has he done? They only shouted the louder, crucify him. So Pilate, wishing to satisfy the crowd, released Barabbas to them. And after he had Jesus scourged, handed him over to be crucified. The soldiers led him away inside the palace, that is the praetorium, and assembled the whole cohort. They clothed him in purple and, weaving a crown of thorns, placed it on him. They began to salute him with, Hail, King of the Jews, and kept striking his head with a reed and spitting upon him. They knelt before him in homage, and when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the purple cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led him out to be crucified. They pressed into service a passerby, Simon a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. They brought him to the place of Golgotha, which is translated place of the skull. They gave him wine, drugged with myrrh, but he did not take it. Then they crucified him and divided his garments by casting lots for them to see what each should take. It was nine o'clock in the morning when they crucified him. 
The inscription of the charge against him read, the king of the Jews. With him, they crucified two revolutionaries, one on his right and one on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, aha, you who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself by coming down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests and the scribes mocked him among themselves and said, he saved others, he cannot save himself. Let the Christ, the King of Israel, come down now from the cross so that we may see and believe. Those who were crucified with him also kept abusing him. At noon, darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. At three in the o'clock, Jesus cried out in a loud voice, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which is translated, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Some of the passerbyers who heard it said, look, he is calling Elijah. One of them ran and soaked a sponge with wine, put it on a reed, and gave it to him to drink, saying, wait, let us see if Elijah comes to take him down. Jesus gave a loud cry and breathed his last. The veil of the sanctuary was torn in two from top to bottom. When the centurion, who stood facing him, saw how he breathed his last, he said, Truly, this man was the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When we fail to commit our lives to Jesus, to be his disciples, we fail our society, our children, ourselves. We must be examples of commitment to Christ and his church. Even now with the challenges facing us as a people, we can lead by turning to our faith and trusting in the Lord, to have confidence in his presence among us. As the witness to the crucifixion stated, truly, this was the Son of God. And we profess our faith by saying, I believe in God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, and on the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. And together we place our needs before God, our loving Father. For the Church, that recounting the passion and death of our Savior will deepen our faith and strengthen our resolve to bear witness to the awesome sacrifice of Jesus Christ, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who will be baptized at the Easter Vigil, and for all who will be welcomed into the church this Easter, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all of us, that we may always be willing to help our family members, friends, neighbors, and strangers carry their crosses, knowing that the Lord recognizes their weight and is always willing to share our burden. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and those who feel abandoned, especially among our Heart of the Nation Parish family, may they realize that they can always turn to God and he will never abandon them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have gone before us, that they will be surrounded by the saints in the heavenly kingdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs and prayers of all of our Heart of the Nation Parish members, including those joining us from the state of Michigan, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Father, hear the prayers we place before you, those spoken aloud and those which remain in our hearts. And if it be in your will, grant them through our Lord and brother Jesus Christ, 
who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable and pleasing to God, our Heavenly Father. May the Lord Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through the passion of your only begotten Son, O Lord, may our reconciliation with you be near at hand, so that, though we do not merit it by our own deeds, yet by this sacrifice made once for all, we may feel already the effects of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has re- received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty. Since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed in the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks. As an exaltation, we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Thank you. 
Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, me, your unworthy servant, my assistant bishops, Richard, Jeffrey, James, and all the clergy, religious and laity everywhere. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with our patron, St. John the Evangelist, all the blessed apostles and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through who, him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, together we dare to say, Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace. And we offer our sign of peace to those viewing us. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only, only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed.
And let us pray. Nourished with these sacred gifts, we humbly beseech you, O Lord, that just as through the death of your Son, you have brought us to hope for what we believe, so by his resurrection, you may lead us to where you call, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Our help is in the Lord, who made heaven and earth. And may Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in love and in peace to love and to serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. We offer our viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the prayers for the Mass, Scripture readings, and special seasonal prayers. For your free copy, order online at heartofthenation.org or call us toll-free at 1-855-855-MASS or write to Heart of the Nation, Post Office Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. Your privacy is important to us and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're joining us through YouTube, please click the like button and consider subscribing to our channel. The Heart of the Nation Mass is a viewer-supported ministry. Please consider an offering today to support the Mass on TV and online. Thank you and may God bless you.